Tommy, son, have I got a surprise for you? I'm down at recording studios with some major artists. Why don't you pass a visit? You know it makes sense, don't ya? See you later. The monsters of rock and roll excess love fist. Yes! Brilliant, bloody brilliant! Hey, Tommy! Glad you could make it. Hey, you ever met Love Fist before? No, I haven't, but I've always loved your music. Let me introduce you to the band. This is Per, Percy, Dick, and Willie's in a car, and that was Jez in the booth earlier. And guys, I went to meet a good friend of mine. This is Tommy. We go way back. Hey, pal. And, uh, what was your name again? <laughs> Jez, you remember. Fist, Don't be playing them games with me, mate. I'm too crafty for that sunshine. English prick. Good See, the, America, the, the thing is, Tom, mental, the boys need some help. They ain't too connected here. They don't have your hands, your father. We need some drugs, pal! Gonna get on the old <laughs> love yeah, fest, yeah, no, fury, you know? Yeah. Well, this is Vice City, man. What's the problem? Love juice, man. We need love juice, man, can? Love juice? Aye, two parts boom shine, one part trumpet, five fizz bombs, and a litre of petrol. Can you help us out, pal? Oh, we really mean a lot You can do that for the boys, right? people in Alaska, I tell you, they throw down that bear pelt, saddle up the sled dogs, and get pulled all the way to Vice City. And I should know, I'm from Mars. No, you're not. Uh, Mars, Alabama. I founded three colleges there. The problem with Alaska is that people don't get naked. Looking for something special? I got what you need. Thanks for the money, sucker. What's the point of living? Uh, well, it is a bit cold. People put on clothes when it's cold. We evolved without a warm covering of hair. That's a lie, sir. We come from the great meteor of crew. Clothes are a hap. <laughs> hey, Mike. The guys could do with some company, if you know what's what I mean. I know just the girl. The people are there in your weirdo commune. Single people, families, elderly couples, teachers, politicians, and especially truck drivers. Truck drivers understand what it's like to be by yourself for days on end, with nothing but country music on the radio and sticking your hand, shifting gears over and over. Truckers realize there's nothing to be ashamed of on the open road. Get naked and beat it on down the line. You've never seen a sense of community and morality like a nudist colony. We share everything, the cooking, cleaning, wives, a shared sense of what it's like to be a complete social outcast. Oh, uh, wait right there, Barry. I'm getting something through the cast. Uh, headphones, I guess. Yes? Yeah, okay. Uh, we just want to tell you a little more about public radio funding. We'll be right back after this. Hello. I'm sure you're enjoying our high-quality programming. I'm Michelle Montanius. Jonathan, I think it's time to acknowledge the people who are sending money in to shut us up and end this dreadful begathon. Here's a $10 pledge from Fran in Little Havana. Wow, you think she could have given more than that? Yes, mean bitch. I hope she dies an agonizing death. Absolutely, Michelle. And remember, if you want us to wish you well... Hey, Mercedes. Hiya, Tommy. And how are you? Just fine. Listen, you fancy having love fist? Okay. But just as a favor, I expect return. It doesn't. That's why you should give now. Correct. Next week is Environmental Week, sponsored by My Batsu and the Vice City Power Corporation. And next month, we're celebrating Proust's influence on Vice City in association with the Degenitron. But for now, let's return to pressing issues. Remember, VCPR is an advertising-free zone, much like the moon or Times Square. Welcome back. The show is pressing issues. The subject is morality. I'm Maurice Chavez. Let's carry on pressing the issue. Now, when the Europeans were done ruining their continent with bland food and soccer riots and arrived in the Americas in the late 15th century, the subject soon turned to morality. You see, Europeans wanted to colonize America, so they had somebody to make fun of. The pilgrims left England for the religious freedom in Holland, where they visited coffee shops, and after they packed up their ships with plenty of coffee, tea, and cakes to liven up the trip, they set sail for the New World, which they heard had a magnificent roller coaster. Once they got here, they were very hungry, having been on a ship for 65 days. So they ate for three days straight. Thanksgiving quickly became an annual custom. America was founded by people who wanted a place where they could tell other people how to live. And I'm a history major. But do we have the right? The question, is it moral to celebrate Thanksgiving, a holiday that is clearly about gluttony, annoying relatives, and awful casserole? Well, home of rebellion with me, 
Laszlo, the rebel- I see you later, big boy. Right. I am the master of darkness. That's why my name's Laszlo. It's Laszlo on- for Big Mitch Baker. Who's looking? Tommy Versetti. Versetti? You don't look like the law, so that's bought you a minute. You better talk fast. Ken Paul said you might be interested in pulling security for a gig he's got set up. Ken Paul? Shh. No wonder he sent you. The last time he was here, he left through the window in nothing but his limey birthday suit. Are you interested or not? We only do favors for our own. How do I join? This ain't no country club, boy. Can you handle a bike? Can you sit on a stool and drink? Cougar! Zeppelin! Go see how this girl handles a bike. Alright, going to the phones, who's there? Alright, fancy clothes, let's see what you can do. What's that? Yo, you're with the I mean, it's just kind of weird. I mean, especially since there's no snow in Vice City. Anyway, what are you doing out there today, snow dog? I'm gonna walk in the Black trash bags. Black trash bags. That's classy. Make sure you spray paint V Rock across it. Your mama loved that one. Here's some more non-stop help me I'm unemployed rock. <laughs> Pressing issues. Actually, before we let you get back to the show, I'd like to say something. I know that public radio may not seem very important in an era of poverty and famine and immense personal greed, but I can assure you it is. And not just because I say so. Look at the facts. 15 of the last 37 American presidents and 47 vice presidents have appeared on VCPR in the last month. 33% of all Nobel Prize winners started out in public radio. Without public radio, we would never have discovered gravity or the pizza or the fact that a lot of people love to hear themselves rattle. Anyway, sermon over. I hope you folks at home understand how passionate we are about public radio, and it has nothing to do with the fact I got kicked off the networks. That was very moving, Jonathan. Back to pressing issues. Where is the creep? Put him on! Hello. As you may know, you're on VCPR, and this is Maurice Chavez. <laughs> 